in this lesson i'm going to help you understand the difference between dc current invented by thomas alva edison and ac current invented by nikola tesla so the dc current as you see dc current connected with the battery give us constant current which we can illustrate by the graph over there the x-axis is the time y-axis is the volt and as you see that the current is constant so the current is constant over there as you see on the other hand AC current is not constant AC current illustrate the sinusoidal behavior what is what does that mean AC current starts with zero and then goes up 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 to the peak and then goes down 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 to the zero and goes up 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 to the peak again and zero i discovered this difference few years ago while editing a video earlier that day i recorded a video in slow motion and while i was editing the video i saw the light was flickering and i asked a key question why the light had to pick flicker only to find out that the light in the united states goes to zero goes to zero 120 times the current in this light goes to zero 120 times believe it or not and the current over here never go to zero not even once that that makes it constant and that makes it alternating that's why we call it ac current because it goes to zero 120 times so what does that mean that means it goes back and forth 120 times so how many cycles we are talking about we are talking about 60 cycle per second so how many hertz 60 cycle per second is 60 hertz what does that mean 60 hertz is 120 voltage so this ac current is 120 voltage positive negative and you have a a resistor provide resistance and this is the voltage and the electrons are moving only one direction from negative terminal to the positive terminal and the current moves to from positive to negative um, so then this is the t and this is the volt t measured in second volt is measured in volt so you have what we call constant current okay so what does that mean what is the consequence of that that means the light doesn't flicker okay so this is dc circuit and the light does not flicker and and the electron has only one direction so electron has only one direction and light doesn't flicker okay because why light doesn't flicker because constant current constant voltage coming from the battery okay now we're going to call it this is a kit and we see our edison circuit edison circuit okay now we're going to consider the ac circuit all right so let's quickly consider the ac circuit ac or tesla Tesla circuit, AC means alternating, alternating, uh, alternating current. It, you have a sinusoidal curve. I'm gonna help you understand that one, what it means in a second. A resistor provide the resistance. So this is the voltage. So let's understand what's going on over here, what this symbol means. Before I help you understand what symbol means, I'm gonna uh, help you understand what is happening with the electrons. So let's put the electrons over here. So electrons are of course oscillating. Electrons are moving backward and forward. What does that mean? So this is the forward and this is the backward. So electron moves and 120 times 120 times 
120 times per second. Talk about this slide. This slide, if we do it in slow motion, it's flickering 120 times per second, and this one is not flickering. This one flickers is because alternating current. This one does not flicker because constant supply of voltage, 60 cycle per second. And 60 cycle, uh, cycle per second is 60 hertz. And 60 hertz is how much voltage? Let's help you understand that over here. All right, so this is sine curve. So this is y is equal to sine x. In this case, y is the voltage which measure in volt. In this case, x. So at zero second, at zero second, voltage is zero. At, let's say, t one second, voltage is as peak. So we're gonna call it peak. At t two second, Voltage is zero again. At T three second, voltage is peak again. Voltage is peak. At T four second, voltage is zero again. Voltage is zero again. So as you see, the voltage is not constant or cycle. Okay, the period. Period. Let's say this is point twenty five. This is point five. This is point seventy five, and this is one second. So the period is point twenty five second, and the frequency would be. Frequency would be four, four cycle per second. Four cycle per second. Okay, now that you know how to understand or how to, now that you know how to read the sine curve, now I'm gonna help you understand how this, this is 200 volt, this is, this is 100 volt, this is 200 volt, this is 300 volt, and uh, this is 325. 325 is uh, 325, uh, this is 325. So this is negative 100, this is negative 200, and this is negative 300. Let's say this is five, this is 10, this is 15, this is 20, this is 25, this is 30, this is 35, and this is 40. Okay, so what are you gonna do with this one? All right, first we're gonna do 50 hertz is because in India they use 50 hertz. 50 hertz people in India use, the rest of the world use 50 hertz. We are the only one use 60 hertz. So let's, uh, let's do 50 hertz first. At zero second, it is zero voltage. At five millisecond, it is 325. 325 is at the peak. And at 10 millisecond, it is zero. At 15 millisecond, it is negative 355. And as 20 millisecond, it is zero again so what i have i have once one full uh, one full cycle okay this is one full cycle and this is how much this is 50 hertz this is 50 hertz this is 50 hertz rms is equal to equal to the peak voltage peak over the square root of two so the voltage peak is how much 325 and uh, square root of 2 is 1.41. Uh, so 325 divided by 1.41, 325 divided by 1.41 is uh, three, 230. So India used 230 voltage. Now let's see what is United, what is what we use, what do you use at your home here in the United States. So let's um, change the color. All right, at zero, zero second, of course, zero voltage. At four second, we have the peak, it is 156, 156. At nine second, it is negative 156, of course. It is zero voltage again, and let's connect that. So now, if I have, if I do have, how many of them? This is one cycle. If I have 60 cycle, if I have 60 cycle, continue 60 cycle, then what do I say? I have 60 hertz. What do we say? I have 120 times per second. That means the current stops. The current stops, goes to zero, 120 times per second. Now, we're gonna see how much voltage is this. Well, to find the voltage, to find the voltage, RMS is equal to V peak divided by square root of two. So B is 156 divided by square root of two, and that would be 110 voltage, okay? 
the 200 watt the power all right, the power is IV all right Ohm's law tells us the power is the current times voltage now in this case the AC outline do not give us the peak voltage and it does not give us the peak current what does it give us it give us RMS so this is RMS and this is RMS uh, right so this must be average power average power so what we get is average power so average power is 200 watt is equal to current is not given however voltage is given 240 so then RMS current is uh, 200 divided by 2433 all right, so now what are we gonna find? We're gonna find the peak current. Once we have this one, it's easy to find the peak current. So current peak is equal to current RMS times the square root of two. So peak is equal to current RMS is 0 0.833 times 1.41, 7 amps. Now we're gonna find voltage RMS. All right, so this is one, this is two. Now we're gonna find voltage RMS. So voltage RMS, RMS is given. It's 240 voltage, you get it for free. Now the voltage peak, we're gonna do the voltage peak. The voltage peak is equal to voltage RMS times, times one point, uh, square root of two. Voltage peak is, Voltage RMS is 240 times 1.4 uh, volt. All right, so now we can find the power. It's so easy to find the power. So the power peak, number, number five, power peak is equal to voltage peak, current peak. So voltage peak is how much? Voltage peak is, this is not voltage peak. Voltage peak is this one, 338. So 338 and current peak. The current peak, this is not current peak. This is the current peak, 1.17. So power peak is 400. So what do you see over here? You see one thing that the average power, okay, is half the power peak. Or power peak is twice the average average so when a coil move back and forth through a magnet that creates induced current now this one how fast this one has to move well this one here in the united states has to move 120 times per second so who is moving this one 120 uh 20 times per second well you can move it but you know you're gonna get tired if you move the coil like this, you're gonna get tired. Of course, how long you can move the coil like this? Of course, you're gonna make probably some current, induced current, but that's not a sustainable idea. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna have the wind turbine to do the job. So wind turbine power will move this coil back and forth 120 times per second so that it creates the induced current. So when we do wind turbine, through the magnet, so it creates induced current. Well, we can do it by wind turbine. So wind turbine with the three blades. The blades create circular path when they move. And circular path has an area. So this circular path has an area. And it moves length L at time T with velocity V, okay? And that gives power to move the coil back and forth. And power is work over time. And work is Ke over time. Okay? And Ke is half mv squared over time. Mass is the area, length, and rho. And rho is 1.25. So what is the area? Let's find the area. Area is pi r squared. Now let's say the blade is, one blade is, I don't know, five, 10 let's say 10 meter long if one blade is 10 meter long and then this is the diameter so the r radius so 
a is pi 3.14 times 10 squared area is equal to 314 okay a square meter now let's come over here and let's work with this formula so we have power power is equal to m m is a l rau v squared over 2t now let's consider this two for a second and that is l over t and l over t is actually velocity so now let's write the formula again a l over t is v rau v squared over two so we have the formula a rau vq over two so now we found the a we found the a a is 314 and rau is 1.25 v is velocity this one is moving five meter per second so then is 5q over 2 watts all right so this is the watts or uh, 24,531 watts that moving this coil back and forth through this magnet creates induced current